So I haven't seen any. But I'll check the rear dip after this trip. And we'll see if any water is in there. Check the air box in. This will be the second rod it's been on. Pretty much bone dry. But she's a hoss. wet now can't get much worse let's do it again that part that's got ruts in it put it in back with the back accident. <laughs> Whatever.
ever since she flipped, she must be she must be a little flooded. I think she might have a little bit of oil in the car burn too when it flipped, but should be alright. It'll burn. Oh, we got a nice thing here. <laughs> Normally, on the back of this, I have 27 Zillas uh, wides, but uh, I thought I'd try the 31 uh, Silverback, see if I could pull them with a the recon, and man, it pulls them pretty nice. Pulls them very nice. No gear reduction. Um, that's going to come sooner or later. Uh... I may end up, I don't know, I'm going to end up, after, I'm going to have to get some more bearings. These are brand new bearings, but 30 inch silverbacks, I can, I can hear them kind of not liking the big tire size, which I think stock's 22, and I brought it up to 31, so, you know, whatever. No gear reduction, um, I'm going to, I'll do that another time once I get the 300 built, but I'm going to do that. And see, I mean, I know you can't fit a big gear reduction there. It's going to have to be like really small once somebody figures out how to do it. But I'll do that. And I'm going to put an oil cooler on it. Just because if I don't get in water and I let it sit going through thick mud like I usually do, it sometimes overheats. And that's before I got the big bore kit and bigger tires. So I wouldn't like to push it and mess up a big, brand new big bore kit and clutch kit. So... If you hear that on crank up the little clack, I'm pretty sure that's just a little bit of piston slap going on until it warms up a little bit. Probably until the uh, piston rings swell, I'm guessing. motor I had to take off the head because I forgot to put in dowel pins stupid me right I found them and I forgot that I didn't put them in so I uh, I uh, had to take it back off so the gaskets already smushed what I did for a while was I just sprayed some copper spray on the gaskets for the gaskets you know 